name is Mrs. Staggs and I am the math and science instructional coach here at Crockett. I want to take you guys on a little tour of the campus and kind of point things out to you where everything would be. This is the crosswalk in our main parking lot. So every morning when you arrive at school, this is where your parents will drop you off and Officer Jordan or Mr. Bashirs are usually out here to open your doors and welcome you on in for the day. As you can see, we've got some construction going on in the background. Um, we'll discuss that some more later and I'll kind of show you all the great, awesome things that we've got coming. So for now, this is where we're gonna start our tour and then we're gonna head on in so that I can show you guys our cafeteria and some other areas of our building. So come on and let's head on in. Okay, so these are the doors where you'll enter every day from the crosswalk. And we're gonna go on in to the cafeteria so I can just give you a look at what, what you're gonna see there. All right, so as you can see, our cafeteria here at Crockett is nowhere near as big as your cafeteria at Aiken or at Justice. But believe it or not, everybody can fit in here from a grade level at a time. So fifth grade has a lunch time and sixth grade has a lunch time. And this is where you'll come to go through the line and pick up your lunches every day and your breakfast too if you come to have breakfast with us. and a lot of things go on in our gym just like they do at, at Aiken and at Justice. So whenever we have um, PE time or uh, do different things in here, we have assemblies in here and when we do that, sometimes there'll be chairs set out because we do have the stage behind us, but there's also bleachers here for you guys to sit on when we have different assemblies and things going on. But whenever you have PE, this is where you'll come for your PE classes. All right, so here at Crockett, it's a little different than it is at your other schools. You're gonna have a choice. Your classes will rotate through either, either PE, music, art, or choir. One elective every 12 weeks. You'll have PE every day here, but the other elective will be split up among the 12 weeks. So first, what we're gonna look at is we're gonna go and take a look at our secret choir room. So come on, let's go. Okay, so this is our choir room, and Miss Bennett is our choir director, and one of the great things about Crockett is that when you're in fifth grade, you get to experience every type of elective that is available here. And that way, when you get to sixth grade, you can select which electives you want to spend all of your time in. So Miss Bennett directs our choir. She usually has a concert with each group of students at the end of the 12 weeks. And then you're able to pick later on when you come to sixth grade, whether or not you wanna stay in choir. They do lots of fun and cool things here and learn lots of different musical techniques. It's really a great place to be. All right, so now where we're gonna be is we're gonna head on down to our art room so you guys can get a look at what the art classroom looks like. So come on, let's go. All right, this is our awesome art room. Our art teacher here is Miss Worthy, and she's got some great projects going on. Uh, you might have seen them in the hallway as we walk down. The kids really enjoy doing different art medias in here and learning different things about art. So when you're in fifth grade, you'll get to come here every day for 12 weeks, and this is one of your options. So it's a great spot to be.
So this great big room is where you'll come for music with Miss Myrick. When you're in fifth grade, you spend more time learning the recorder, but you actually learn lots of cool new things. You learn how to read music, music timing, music signatures, and all of that is to prepare you for sixth grade when you get to pick band as one of your electives if you're interested in band. That's when you'll get to play flute or French horn or the tuba or percussion. You'll get to try out and pick between all of those things so that when you get to sixth grade, you can work with Mr. Myrick. But for fifth grade, you just spend a lot of time learning basic things about music through using the recorder. So this is our shout out board. Our counselors thought it would be a great idea if kids here at Crockett were recognized for different character traits that they showed through their class time to their teachers and also to their peers. So this is a great place that students have received lots and lots, as you can see, of shout outs and their pictures have gotten hung and they all went into a drawing so that they could be recognized for all of the great effort that they put into being a great person. When we're done with this now, we're gonna go straight on over to our counselor's offices so you guys can see where that is. So here we go. So we've got these two double doors here and these are where our counselors are. We actually have two counselors. We have Ms. Robbins who is here full time with us and her office is on this side. And then we also have Ms. Little and a lot of you might remember Ms. Little from Justice uh, now she is one of our counselors here, but we share her with Parrish Junior High, and so she's only here two to three days a week, but she's also available for you guys to visit with whenever you want. So I'm going to open the door and give you a look-see inside of our counselor's office. All right, so if you struggled just a little bit with math or reading in other grades, we have what are called intervention teachers here. And these guys are here to help you with some reading and some math skills that you might have not mastered all the way. So we're gonna take a look in one of the rooms today. We have two reading instructors, Miss Matthews and Miss Bruns. And then we have a different set of rooms where we have two math instructors. We've got Mr. Nance and Mr. Ramage, but we're going to take a look inside Ms. Matthews' class first. This is our Socrates room. So if you're one of Ms. King's students at either Justice or Aiken, and you get to spend extra time with her every week, this is the room that you'll come to to get all of that great learning in and do all of those exciting experiments. And you start really working hard on future problem solving or FPS here. All right, now we're about to head down this really long hallway towards fifth grade classrooms. 
As you can see, this part of the building looks a little bit different than the other part of the building, and that's because we have so many great students that want to come here to Crockett that years ago they had to add on an extra wing. All of our fifth grade students are housed on this end of the building, so you guys get an extra special section. As we head down that way, though, I want us to make a couple of stops first. So this past school year, Mr. Bashirs came up with a great idea. He wanted us to recognize a student in fifth grade and a student in sixth grade each month. And those are kids that show great citizenship and respect and are responsible. Those are some of the best students that we have here at Crockett Intermediate School. And he wanted to showcase those kids. So next year, you might be able to get your poster right up here where they are. Right across the hall, we have what is now, currently, our front office. Now, I'm going to show you in just a few minutes where hopefully, fingers crossed, our new office is going to be located when school starts this next year. But this is where it's housed now. So we'll take a look at that as we head down this direction. So this is the exciting addition that's being added to our property here at Crockett Intermediate. They're gonna put a great big building out here and housed in this building will be all of our front office, the nurse's office, our assistant principals and our principal offices. And that's gonna allow us to free up some much needed space inside. But for now, it just looks like this. Next, we're gonna take a look inside of our great library, so come on. Each week in one of your reading classes, whichever one you end up in, you're gonna come here to the library and get to spend some time looking at all of the books and seeing all the different things that she has to offer here. We have a great librarian, Miss Alsup, and she has a great sitting area for you guys just to relax and take a look at a book if you want to and just spend some great time in here learning new things and, and going on great new adventures through reading. So we've come way down this long hallway, and as you can see behind me, this is where we're headed into fifth grade, where all of your classes will take place and most of your learning. Right outside the entrance to fifth grade, we have a girl's bathroom and a boy's bathroom. This is where your teachers will send you whenever you need to use the restroom, no matter where on this long hallway your class is located. All right, so we're going to head on down to fifth grade hallway so you can take a look. Come on. Welcome to fifth grade. So we've got this great big long hallway and all of your classes will be on this end and quite possibly might be located a little bit on the other end too. This is Miss Walker's room. She's one of our fifth grade reading teachers. Here at Crockett, you will actually have three teachers every single day. You'll have a reading teacher, a math teacher, and a science social studies teacher. Your homeroom is going to be any one of those classrooms, but you'll always come back to that homeroom to learn whatever subject that teacher teaches. So here at Crockett, we're going to take a look at a reading room, a science room, and a math room, just so you can get an idea of what the difference would be. Here at Crockett, our classrooms are organized mostly like you're going to see your classes organized at Justice and Aiken already. So we have different team names to keep things organized and straight for us and for competitions and different fun things we'll get to do all year long. Here at Crockett, our teams are organized with Ivy League names. So you might be part of Team Columbia, part of Team Cornell, Team Brown, Team Mason, or Team Princeton. 
Today, we have looked at a reading room already, so all of the classrooms we're gonna see today are part of Team Princeton. So next, we're gonna take a look inside of a math classroom so you can see what it looks like. This is Ms. Dillard's math classroom. Lots of fun and exciting things go on in here, and you get to learn all sorts of new information and great, awesome new math styles and techniques that are gonna lead you on into sixth grade and get you ready for middle school. This is Ms. Sims' science classroom. Here in this classroom, they do lots of hands-on experiments, learn awesome cool things about mixture solutions and ecosystems and our solar system. We go on, on lots of little field trips around campus to see different things. And at the end of fifth grade, we take a big science camp field trip where we go and learn all different kinds of neat things about science. Until then, 